Dogmas Grains. We have a couple of weapons over here. We have our Posca pens. We have a cardboard box from Ikea that I've given like five coats of paint for so that it can stay completely white. Needs maybe one more coat. Then I have this really cool hollow background. I hope it shows hollow on camera. It totally is hollow because this box is going to be the carrier for <laughs> Pristine Simply No Logicals figurine. So I'm gonna spend some time decorating this because it needs to go out. And don't judge me, okay? It's an excuse. I'm trying to get it out now, okay? I know. And as the finishing touch, I have this clear plastic that after all is done, I'm going to be gluing to the outside so it really should look like an official toy kind of thing. Since I really have no idea if she's going to keep it in the box or if she's going to get rid of the box and put the sculpture on display or I don't know, maybe even throw the sculpture. <laughs> I know that sometimes it's a thing that people do run out of space and I wouldn't take it personally anyways. At my place, it would just kind of be sitting on my shelf. So if someone else can make good use of a sculpture that I make, I would be more than okay with them deciding to do whatever they want. This part here is not that interesting because it's white paint on white piece of cardboard but it just needs one last coat to make it a little extra pearly. In case you haven't seen the previous vlogmas, yes I am absolutely incredibly late in sending out Simply Neological sculpture. I mean there are quite a few things. First of all I was in the US then I was in Japan and then afterwards my dad had his liver transplant which is absolutely fantastic news. However, comma, there's a possibility that he has to also get a a kidney transplant so we're on hold for that as well. So he's been at the hospital basically for the last six months so it wasn't my priority at the time but now that I have some time to get ahead I definitely want to put together this box to send to Christine. Maybe she'll get it before Christmas. I don't know but just to say yes I am late. So this is the draft I made of the front of the box. I'm not sure if I want to put anything on the sides or the back, but I have a feeling it's going to look empty. But at the same time, again, I don't want to over decorate. Maybe I'll put like little spots of like hollow or something like that. I could probably decorate it also with her nail polish, the hollow taco, but we're gonna see. Here is our weapon of choice. I love these so much. So this is a completely different camera angle. I really hope the Posca pens work okay. I haven't used them in a while. Oh man, they are gorgeous. If you haven't seen my review of them, definitely check it out. Oh my God, that is juicy. So I'm kind of using a royalty blue to kind of stay with the theme of her nail polish. Please don't be leaky. There's a little bit of crevices over there, but we'll get to it. I'm gonna go very slowly, very, very slowly. Are you one of those people that has handwriting that is sometimes hard to read? Let me know down below. All right, so I kind of debated whether or not I wanted to make a little banner thing. Oh no. The yellow is not opaque enough to cover this, so I might have to go with two coats simply because, I don't know if you grains can see, let's get a little closer. You could see that the pencil mark over here is showing up, so hopefully two coats will be enough. I guess we'll find out. All right, so this is a bummer. My Posca pen, this color, is finished. There's nothing, no liquid coming out. I hope it's not because I ruined it by painting the paint on the paint. Hopefully not, but there you go, see? It just doesn't want to come out. I'm gonna do the next best thing and do the outline with a darker color. Look at that. Depth. Creativity. <laughs> So while this top part here dries up, I'm going to write the word includes. I was never good at handwriting, but whatever. I think it's just the playfulness of it, right? At least I hope so. And it's not going to say includes anything you need because it's not a kit. Please don't make spelling mistakes. There we go. Now I'm kind of wondering, should I do different colors for the different names over here since I have Menchi, Xyler, and BAM! I feel like I'm gonna go with the same color. Even though I really like colors, I don't want it to be a mess. I'm gonna go ahead. Let me know what you would have done because I'm really curious what you would have done. So far so good. Let's stick with the theme and hope we can squeeze out some of this juice. There we go. Ooh, this is a lot less space than I 
thought I had. So what I might have to do is just maybe three kitty heads for Xyler over here and then three on this side for Menchi and just make three different facial expressions. For obvious reasons, they're going to be chibi and not detailed. That's no questions asked about that. We are not going detail mode here because this is really, oh my god, that's a tight spot. I could make a joke right now by saying that's what he said. <laughs> I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. Okay, so I think this is good. I'm gonna make two more, space them out a little bit, and then we'll get back to the details. All right, since Menchi is white and the box is white, there's just no way for me to go around this except to use an outline. So unfortunately, we can't just go outline less on Menchi here. Thanks for nothing, Menchi. All right, I have no idea what's going on. We're getting this kind of cracking effect. Do you see that? It's like an antique type looking effect. I hope it's not going to peel off. I mean, I'm letting every layer harden, well, dry up completely, but it's only doing that here. Hopefully it's not a conflict of two different kinds of paint. I'll try and seal it in, but I think the antique look is kind of neat. It's not doing it anywhere else. It really is just here. All right, I think I'm ready for T-Rex. I think I feel like the bar needs to be here, so I could probably do it right away, just so that I can gauge my space just a bit better. Maybe it's a mistake. I don't know. All right, and they're just going to be very bubbly letters. Hermit Geared, I love it so much. It looks good. Pretty happy with it so far. I'm going to put a couple of eyes and whiskers on the kitty cats. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and probably just do some minor decorations all the way around, just so that it's not a plain box. By the way, if ever Christine is watching this or gets the box and she's like, what the heck is going on? Dude, I suck at drawing. Pretty decent at sculpting, but when it comes to drawing, can't do it. So just throw the box. So here is the box so far. I think it is absolutely adorable. But then again, I like childish looking things. So that's kind of what I aim to do. Now for the back, I don't want to just put polka dots. I think I'm just going to draw a poorly drawn T-Rex. Kind of like when I do when I send packages out to friends. I draw something kind of like very kindergarten-y. And I think those are really cute. So it'll be like the T-Rex, but in a very childish kind of way. So I gave it a couple of layers of clear coat. Hopefully it holds on a little better. Hopefully it doesn't crack either. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the Holo Taco and only put it on the royal blue, only the, the little dots and probably the top parts here for the T-Rex. Who would have guessed? Oh no, oh my god, oh my god, too much. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Well, at least we have this here. <laughs> Who would have guessed we would be using nail polish to do crafty things? It's probably one of the most expensive ways to get that kind of look. Because I'm not the kind of person that likes to use rulers, I probably should though. This is how I'm measuring the hollow part. Just kind of bending and eyeballing because it needs to be cut in a funny way. For this part over here, it needs to go a little lower. So I have to make this kind of U shape. Okay, so very nice. Even though I'm eyeballing it, this is pretty good. So here's our background, which is going to be hollow. My guess is maybe the bottom should be hollow too. We'll get there when we get there. But for now, let's glue this part on. Here it is with the bottom also hollowed. So close to the final touches. Now I have this here. So I'm going to cut a little larger than the actual piece and then glue it from the back. Now that we have this part absolutely done, what we're going to do is, um, I need to make sure that the bottom part that's going to be hollow is absolutely stuck at the bottom. The reason this has to be stuck at the bottom is because, give me a second, we're actually going to glue the sculpture on this base so that when it's in the box, it's glued, it can't move, which means, in all theory, it shouldn't break. So here's crossing our fingers that this will be stable right in the middle and can move all at once, but won't come off. That's the theory. If it arrives broken, that means the postal gods weren't on our side. So even though at the bottom I did write a little message 
for Christine. I'm going to be putting glue here, 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 and here. So if she really wanted to remove it from the base, she just has to kind of pull it off and hopefully it'll stay. Well, this message won't be ruined. And Ermig! <laughs> I am in love with this! Ermig! Good, if I wasn't giving this away, I would have kept it for myself, but that is, I have to admit, definitely one of my favorite ways to pack something. So I did glue it at the bottom, so in all technicality, as I mentioned, even if it's laying like this in the box, when it's being shipped out, it's not gonna move which means it's safe. So I'm going to be wrapping it with paper and then in a nicer box, and well, nicer, just a, a secure box, and then shipping it out. That is super cool. I am really happy with it. Let me know, how would you have decorated it? Either if you're on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, if you draw or anything like that, try to pretend to make the, the box. I'm really curious to see what kind of creation you would have made. I love this so much. And of course, let's not forget. <laughs> the childish thing in the back because I love that style of drawing. I think that's it for today's Vlogmas. Remember, Vlogmases will be out every day except for the days that I upload on my main channel. It's gonna be as though I'm publishing every day. It's just that I want these videos to kind of compete and then confuse people. Is it like, is that a nerdy crafter video? No, that's a nerdy Jackie video. So no Vlogmases on Tuesdays and Fridays. So yeah, see you in the next video. If you want to watch more Vlogmases, there's the playlist right here.